Nearly 55 million Americans plan to travel by road and air in one of the biggest transportation challenges of the year. NBC's Tom Costello shares more ahead of Thanksgiving weekend. On four wheels this holiday week, nearly 49 million Americans are hitting the roads. That's still below 2019 levels when we were paying 244 a gallon for gas. The national average today, 366, down 16 cents from a month ago. Michael Konopasik will drive from Denver to Kansas City on Thanksgiving Day. I need to leave really early in the morning, probably about 4 a.m. to make it to my Aunt Marcia's by 3 p.m. for the turkey. With blue skies expected all week, airline passenger levels are almost back to 2019 levels. The airlines say they've staffed up for 4.5 million expected flyers. We're definitely in better shape than we were this summer. I was extremely concerned about the delays and cancellations we saw. The FAA tells NBC News the highest number of total flights will be Tuesday, 48,082 in all. Time is of the essence for the airlines. They need to turn a narrow body domestic flight like that in about 50 minutes. Bags off, bags on, passengers on and off. It's about an hour for a wide body flight, maybe 90 minutes or more for an international flight. Meanwhile, some international airlines and regulators are now considering whether to allow just a single pilot to fly passenger planes. A cost saving move with the computer taking over rather than the two pilots now required to handle in flight emergencies like the miracle on the Hudson landing. In the U.S., that is a non starter. It is a soul to soul, eye to eye contact with that other professional pilot that often makes the difference between really bad headlines or an uneventful flight.